It is 17 minutes past seven uh, on News Talk Breakfast with Paul Williams and Shane Coleman. Now, over half of workers use their daily commute to answer work emails. That's according to a new survey in the United Kingdom. With the advances in technologies and smartphones, are the lines between the workplace and the home becoming more blurred? Well, joining us uh, to help answer this question uh, is a future work expert, uh, Paul Cosgrove. Uh, Paul, thanks as ever for coming into us. Uh, Peter, Peter Cosgrove, why am I calling you Paul? Yeah, yeah, it's Friday morning. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Peter Cosgrove, we know you well on yeah. the show. Um, are you surprised by this? Over half of people using uh, uh, using their emails. N- I, I'm, n- I am one no, of those people. No, I have to admit. N- not at all. I mean, we we now live in a, a workplace where people don't differentiate between their phone for work and for pleasure, for social and for non pleasure. So we have a challenge that, uh, unfortunately, we're also fairly tech obsessed. So when you get an email at seven in the evening or eight in the evening, most people's it pops up in their email and they can't help but look at it. So I think our biggest challenge here is our our challenge with actually being able to disconnect from devices in general. Okay, uh, I'm going to suggest to you that there's a big difference between responding to an email at 8 o'clock at night when you're sitting on your couch and if you're on your way into work on the, the Lewis or the Dart or, or, or a bus from Dundalk or go, I... I I think the first one is is a no no. I'm not so sure about the second one. Is it so bad if you're if you're getting a bus or a train into work or something and you you respond to an email? Absolutely not. I, I don't think that's an issue. However, it's an issue if the person doing it doesn't feel they should be doing it because they feel that's not part of their job description and that was agreed up front and suddenly their job, which maybe could be seven till seven, is suddenly oh I have to start checking Half my emails at six and yeah. then when I get home I'm still getting them. So it's this blurring of what starts as your work day because immediately people start saying oh, this is ridiculous. You always have to do work outside of hours. I, I totally agree with that. And technology can be great for flexibility. But a lot of people out there feel that if they don't reply, there is an issue. So I sent you an email. I, why didn't you reply? And it's very difficult to go, well, I didn't reply because I've already done a 12-hour day and it wasn't that important. And I'll reply in the morning. Okay. Are you finding that many bosses now expect their uh, staff and their workers to be to be available almost 24-7 in terms of their email? I think when we talk about this, you'll get a lot of people listening in who will say they, they expect it, but actually not all employers do expect this, but actually a lot of the time the employees think their employers expect it because other employees are doing it. And if other employees are doing it, they feel, well, if they're doing it, I should do it. So I think they need to have a fairly specific conversation with their boss about what the expectations are. There should be times where if something is urgent, you probably should do work. But if you're doing it all the time, it's probably not worth it because actually you're doing pretty shallow work. You're just responding to something quite quickly. As you said, you're on a commuter train. It's not exactly a great place to be doing thinking. So, yeah. and then by the time at the end of the day, you're a little bit burnt out. By the end of the week, you're pretty stressed out because you haven't had this time off. So it actually is counterproductive for both employer and employee. So the message to message to workers this morning, people listening to this who yeah. maybe are doing it, what, what's, what are you f- saying? Firstly, you know, the computer... Put the foot down? Yeah, well, yeah, I would say the computer industry and the uh, uh, drug user industry the are only two uh, industries where they call their customers users. So do understand that technology is incredibly addictive. How, however good you are at trying to disconnect, there's thousands of people on the other side trying to keep you involved. So if you look at Netflix, you know, the next series starts straight away. We used to have linear TV where it ended and then you just stopped. Same with books. And you Chapters waited, ended for the and next you waited. Episode. Yeah, so yeah. now... So everything keeps going. So you need to be aware of, as an employee, it is your responsibility. If there's one thing I tell you to do is take your phone out of the bedroom. If you're not able to do that, you're already saying to yourself that I can't disconnect myself from technology. So I don't think you have any chance of telling your employer they're going to do it either. Okay, good advice. Peter Cosgrove, uh, future work expert. Thanks Thank indeed you. for coming into us.